Hey, I'm talking to you. I said, are you gonna drink that beer or stand there and look at it with your stupid face hanging out? <sighs> Damn. As Buck turned and faced the two men in the saloon, it occurred to him that maybe the marshal might have been right. He had entered the saloon, ordered a beer, and had nursed it for only about 15 minutes before this cowboy with the loud and arrogant mouth began needling him. Boy, you better talk to me! I intend to drink this beer in my own good time. Not that it's any of your business. Uh, that's Harry Carson, stranger. Is that supposed to mean something to me, barkeep? And his buddy is, uh, Wade Phillips? Hmm? Huh? Really? Is his buddy an asshole, too? The town's deputy leaned against the bar, silently watching the show unfold before him. Carson and Phillips were both loudmouth troublemakers, but he felt he had pegged this young, tall man just right. If he was correct in his assumption, Carson and Phillips would never pick another fight after tonight. The deputy slipped out of the line of possible gunfire and sipped his beer. What did you just say, boy? Go on, Carson. Back off. Drink your drink and leave me be. You got a smart mouth. Upon entering the saloon, Buck had slipped the hammer thongs off his 44s. I'm not looking for trouble, Phillips. But if I'm pushed into it, so be it. Talk's fancy, don't he? Yeah, and got them fancy guns on, too. But I bet you he ain't got the sand in him to duke it out. Buck's smile was faint. He had pegged the man accurately. Both men probably realized that neither of them could beat Buck in a gunfight, so they would push him into a fight with fists and boots. And if he didn't fight him at their own game, he'd be branded a coward. It was the bully's way. Buck took off his gun belt and laid it on the bar. Spotting the deputy, he slid the hardware down the bar to him. Look after those, will you please? The deputy nodded. Buck calmly raised his beer to his lips. Ah. Buck smashed the mug into Carson's face. Hey, you can't! The fight was over. Buck turned around. Marshal Dooley had joined his deputy. Any law against a fair fight, Marshal? It was two against one. <sighs> and they were outnumbered at those odds. No, West. There's no law against it. Yet. But someday there will be. Buck retrieved his guns and buckled them around his waist. Not as long as there are people so stupid as to place and praise physical brawn over the capacity to reason. Who are you, West? You're no drifting gun hand. You got intelligence. I'm a man who likes to read, think, and reason. That's who I am. Good night, Marshal. Graphic Audio, a movie in your mind.